my screen. Before I share my screen, uh, please uh, have you have one or two items with you so we can search together during the training session. Okay, I'm gonna share my web browser. So. Open the chat box. Okay. okay, so before we start uh, use Record Manager, we're going to go over um, Record Manager manual. So Record Manager is another uh, sales interface to WordCat database. And so after this training, you're going to uh, learn how to search WordCat uh, to find a matching record using Record Manager. And you will uh, see how to evaluate if the record meets the function. Has joined the meeting. Okay. Um, you're gonna, gonna learn how to evaluate uh, if the record meets the buckles minimum criteria for a complete record in uh, Record Manager. Um, and uh, finally, you're gonna learn how to save the record to in progress with your library code in the 049 field. So the uh, difference between CAD Express and Record Manager, um, CAD Express cannot support non-Roman characters. So although the record itself has um, the non-Roman characters, CAD Express just wipe out all the non-Roman characters and if you save it and then if, uh, if the catalogers uh, uh, import those records, still the record own have the non-Roman characters. So that's why we, re we recommend you to use a record manager if you are submitting non-Roman um, language material uh, record. And the second difference uh, in CAD Express, um, you already learn how to save your records in one uh, institutional file, but in record manager, um, they don't, pro uh, they don't provide an uh, institutional file. Actually, I'm talking about the third one. So in Record Manager, we're going to save record uh, differently using online saved file, which, which is in progress file. Uh, and then go back to second one. So in CAD Express, we ask you to set your library code in a general setting. But in Record Manager, we cannot add your library code in 852 uh, field. Instead, we're going to use um, your full library code in 049 field. So I'm going to talk about it later. Uh, please remember, if you're submitting um, Roman language materials, please use CAD Express. Don't use Record Manager because um, for like English or Spanish uh, and other Roman language material records are um, are processed by the catalogers. We share the records and then we all together uh, process the records, but non-Roman language materials, I'm, I'm, I'm the only one who's uh, processing it. So if you submit Roman language using re uh, record manager, that adds more work and uh, all whole word language uh, cataloging process will slow down. So please uh, don't send Roman language materials using uh, record manager. Okay, first uh, we're gonna look at how you set up and log into uh, like Record Manager. I guess you uh, you already have um, your password and uh, your username setting. Uh, it's already set, I guess. So I think this part uh, we I think you don't have any issue with uh, this first step. So once you uh, log into Record Manager, the next step is. Um, you're gonna set the full li uh, for, uh, letter library code in Record Manager. Um, so uh, once you log into Record Manager, click metadata and then click uh, Record Manager. The other things uh, you, although it shows, uh, they are showing in the screen, you cannot use them. So uh, Record Manager is the only thing you can use. So. When you click Record Manager, then go to User Preferences. Then we're going to um, set your local uh, library code. So I'm going to go to Record Manager, and then we're going to do it together. So please log into your Record Manager now. 
So uh, if you didn't set up user preferences, uh, this is the time you're gonna do that. So um, enter your username, your first name, and password, which you already set, then click sign in. Yep. I'm not sure um, if Barbara is in my chat, but um, if there was an issue with the username in Record Manager, Barbara, um, you can either chat or um, unmute and quickly tell us, um, unless you mean you can give a generic kind of explanation of what their typical username would be. Um, she may have been having issues with the username for Record Manager. Your username is Barbara. Well, that's an easy answer. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I I replied to your email. Did you get the email and then set the password, Barbara? Uh, okay, if you have any issues, just let us know. Um, otherwise, I'm going to just keep on training. So, uh, once you are in the record manager, click metadata. And click record manager. And go to user preferences. And you don't need to worry about other stuff, just click working with records. And I'm gonna scroll down a little bit more. And here is the local uh, library code. So uh, click drop down menu and find your uh, find your library name here. Uh, but if you see like this cluster, cluster and cluster two, you don't need to worry about it. Uh, we requested cleanup for this. So this additional cluster two and angle two they're gonna um, they're gonna uh, go away from the from the list, so you don't need to worry about it now. Uh, just click the regular um, your regular buckles code. So if I'm from cluster, I'm gonna click cluster C T a uh, C L T R, and if I'm from Englewood, I'm gonna click E N G L. So that's gonna be your code. Uh, so click your library code from the list. Since I'm from Buckles, I'm going to click uh, Buckles. Yeah, uh, this is additional information. Um, I just checked the Library of Congress names only, not Canadian names, but it depends on you. If you want to do that, you can do that. But um, the thing we, we're going to focus on is how to set up your local library code here. So everybody has no problem uh, with this setup. I'm going to go back to manual. Okay, if you have any issues, you can just type in uh, in the chat box. Looks like everybody's all set. So I'm gonna go back to manual. Uh, now it's time for us to search our record manager. Okay, um, so this is a record manager search screen. Um, as you can see, this Big red X, um, those are the ones you don't need to worry about. These are for the like a full catalogers. So you don't need to worry, you don't need to worry about these stuff. Um, uh, we're gonna go through our uh, arrow number one to 10. So again, I only listed the uh, terms or functions that you're gonna use. Uh, I own, uh, include any functions for the full cataloging. Uh, so you're going to see the things you will use to submit your world language material, uh, material records. Okay. So data type, uh, there are four options, but, um, these two options you're going to use. Mostly you're going to use bibliographic records, uh, which is different. So you don't need to, uh, change it if you are searching for a record. But just in case you are like a wonder what the authorized name for an author, then you can search uh, author authority records. Uh, for example, in the past we got a lot of tickets about a uh, um, the Hebrew author, Jewish author, whose name on the title page is has two A's, 
but uh, in authority record, um, his authorized name is only 1A, so a lot of people just send us tickets that the record is, has errors, so please change the author's name, but author, his authorized name is uh, has only 1A, and uh, two A's is like a, um, like a variant, a name variant, so uh, if you want to check uh, the authorized name or authorized subject heading, you can click authority records and then search the authority records. Uh, otherwise, we're going to mostly use bibliographic records, and which is um, deferred, so you don't need to change. And scope. So, I recommend you to, actually, this is deferred, so you don't need to change when you uh, log into Record Manager. So, all WordCat means you're going to search the WordCat database to find the matching record. And later, when you save uh, when you save your record uh, in progress, uh, then you wanna see what you saved. Then that's gonna be the saved in progress. So when you want to search the records you already saved, uh, this is gonna be the one you're gonna select. Otherwise, uh, you don't need to worry about it. Well, we're gonna use WordCat, all WordCat, and save it in progress for our purpose. Okay, and index. Uh, Buckles recommended, uh, Buckles recommend you to choose, uh, standard numbers such as ISBN for monographs or audiobook, um, and, um, ISSM for serials and periodicals, magazine. And, um, if you are searching for DVD or Blu-ray or, um, like a Dana code for Hebrew books, then use keyword and then enter your UPC number or other standard numbers or like your whatever keyword you want to search. Uh, if you if you don't have a, your um, ISBN or ISSN, then keyword search is going to be the index for you. In terms, you uh, in terms section, you're going to enter your search terms such as ISBN or keyword. Uh, if you uh, enter your keyword, then there's an option. You can uh, click advanced search for more search options to reduce uh, search results. And um, one good thing about Record Manager, you can see all of your activity history. So if you want to go back to the previous search, you can just click the uh, one of the search from the history list, So which is cool. And the next part is facets. Uh, I think you're already familiar with it because uh, we have this function in uh, our OPEC, Plus OPEC. So I think you're uh, familiar with this facet. Um, so let me go through uh, each facet. So first one is language of cataloging, which means uh, the language uh, is used to describe the cataloging record. So you can see the language of um, cataloging in MARC record. It is 040 subfield B. For example, if do you see 040 subfield B C H I, that means the record is described in Chinese. Um, the book or the mature is that the language of a mature itself um, is just languages in facet, but a language of cataloging is the language used to describe the cataloging record. So this record um, described in Chinese. So for example, in 300 fields, instead of pages, you will see this Chinese character for pages. And instead of illustrations, you will see this Chinese character. And instead of centimeter, you will see this. So this is not the record we want. So if you uh, if you only can find the record um, uh, record uh, catalog in other languages than English, then, um, um, and then although if you just save the record, we are not going to import the record. So we need to change those languages uh, into English, the catalog, um, we need to catalog uh, that record in English. So we will need uh, your director's justification to do that because it is original cataloging. So if you cannot find any record uh, in English, uh, catalog in English, then um, please ask your director uh, for the justificate, catalog submission justification. Then we're going to create a uh, create a new record um, in English. 
And the second one is uh, format is type of material. So you can select uh, the format which matches to your uh, item. And here, um, also, if there are a lot of editions uh, of there are a lot of editions with the same ISBN. You can limit uh, by publication year here. And uh, also, you can just limit by the author. Uh, this author facet has authors and contributors. So for example, this one has film director and actor and screenwriter, everything. So you can limit by author or con uh, contributor's name. What's the language? Uh, this is the language of the material itself. So actually, um, the first that I used for uh, for an example here is Parasite, which is Korean um, movie. Um, but um, but if you want a book, print book, uh, which is like a screenplay book or something, um, which is not a movie, it's a book. You can click print book here. And if you are looking for Chinese translation of Korean, you can limit by language of the material here, Chinese. Of course, the cataloging language, cataloging language should be in English. Okay. So, and uh, after you search, um, you can search by search wizard uh, by these uh, options. But um, the one cool thing about this uh, search options is library count. For example, uh, if you uh, sort by the library count highest first, then you'll see the record which uh, most of libraries selected, and then they think if the record is good, so that's why a lot of library, um, a lot of library selected records. So uh, I think this is kind of cool uh, feature. And when you, um, when you compare brief record descriptions, um, um, so compare this, uh, compare the brief record description to see uh, which record matches your item best. Um, the brief record description, when you see the brief uh, record description, the record doesn't have um, vernacular script and only has transliteration. Uh, then uh, the record not going to be imported because um, although the record is good enough to meet the focus minimum cri criteria for a complete record, if it doesn't have any original Hindi script or Korean script in the record, then um, then that's not a record for us, for our patrons. In this case, uh, we'll ask you to provide the scanned images of the title page, first page, and cover so catalogers can add those missing information. Uh, or as vice versa, you can just ask us, uh, you can send us uh, the ticket or, or just you can email us that I found this record, but this record doesn't have any original script in it. Can you just add the original script uh, with the scanned images? Then we're going to do that. Um, when you email us, please email catalogingapocalypse.org. Uh, not just email me. So in the way, I can easily trace uh, who sent it what tickets in the ticket system. Okay, also the brief search wizard uh, provides uh, catalog institution, catalog language, and including level, uh, including level and uh, OCLC number. So for this example, um, this is created by Midwest State, and the catalog lang language is English, which is good, and it's a uh, full level, which is complete record, and also it provides those sales number. And the second example, uh, this is created by some Chinese library, and the catalog language is Chinese, which is not good. And also the level of cataloging, including level, is minimum, which is incomplete record. So we don't recommend you to choose this minimum record. Uh, also, the cataloging language is not uh, English, so this is not a good record for us. Uh, also, this brief record uh, provides us the information if um, Buckles has a record or not, and also how many uh, libraries have this record. So it provides buckles holding information and number of holding libraries information. So I'm going to uh, go back to record manager and then we're going to do real search with you. 
So can you just uh, provide your ISBN in the chat box? Then I'm going to use uh, those ISBNs to practice together. Uh, ISPN. Okay, I'm going to use John's uh, ISPN first. Okay, so um, so let's go to, let's look at from the data type. So it's bibliographic records. We're going to search the word cat database. So it should be bibliographic records, which is deferred. So mostly you don't need to touch it. And SCOBY is deferred is all WordCat, that means WordCat database. We're going to search all uh, WordCat database. And as I recommended you before, we're going to search by ISBN. So change index to ISBN and then uh, enter your search term, which is ISBN here. And I'm going to click search now. We have four search results. And um, three out of four are cataloged in Chinese, and only one is cataloged in English. And uh, let's look at the format. Um, we don't want a computer file, which means, so John, you're looking for a book, right? Correct? So we're going to click print book here. So we uh, removed one um, e-content record. OK, thank you, John. Um, so we limited it uh, uh, using format uh, facet here. And all of them are uh, published in 2020. Uh, we are not sure about the authors. Who is the maybe uh, main author and co-author? We are not sure uh, until we, because I don't have the item in my hand. OK, so all of three are Chinese books. OK. so. Usually, if I'm doing a real work, I'm not going to even look at this Chinese, uh, the, uh, the records uh, catalog in Chinese. I'm going to just click English. But um, because I wanted you, I, because I want you to uh, see how to compare the records, so I'm going to um, go over all the records. So here, relevance, we can just change to library count highest first. So it looks like the first one, we already have uh, have it in um, buckles, so held by us. And two libraries, um, they have this record. And the other two, we don't have the other two records. Um, just for your uh, information, I'm going to show you how to compare our record. So if you click the record, Um, okay, let me go back to manual first because we didn't uh, go over this comparison part. Okay, so when you um, click a record and then when you are in the mark record uh, view, um, these two we're not gonna touch because these are for the full catalogers. You're gonna use, you're gonna only use record and save record for compare and save uh, to save the record in progress file. So here is how you do compare. So first, click uh, record here, then select compare. Then you can uh, you can compare the record. So I'm gonna show you how to do it here. So click record and go to compare. Um, you are supposed to enter OCLC number here, but don't worry if you don't know that. You can search by ISBN again. So you will see the same search wizard. Uh, this one is the one we are looking now. Uh, we are looking at now. So we're gonna click this one for uh, compare comparison. So as you can see, uh, it's very easy to see because uh, it shows the it, it just displayed a gray. 
area if this record has this field but this record doesn't have this field uh, so it's easy to see what's missing or what uh, what has uh, which record has more field so I'm gonna go from the first from the beginning so actually this is created by us BRG is our symbol so I created this record and catalog language is in English this one is in Chinese so, okay, and um, as you can see, uh, the Chinese language uh, uh, record created by a uh, record uh, catalog in Chinese has Chinese number, uh, Chinese classification number, uh, but um, this record has a Dewey number. Um, so that's the difference of this uh, first difference between these records. And author field looks good and um, not good. So this record, you can, as you can see, uh, this should be author, but um, this, because this is catalog in Chinese, uh, instead of using author as a related term, it used its Chinese term here because it's following Chinese cataloging rule, not RDA or AACR2. And, oh, okay. So here it should be Chinese, but it has um, its own like Zhongwen, right? Zhongwen here. So other than so one more thing here. So to meet Buckle's minimum criteria, the record should have Library of Congress subject heading, but this one doesn't have Library of a uh, Library of sub, uh, LC subject heading. Instead, it has Chinese subject heading, which is not good. So that's why um, we don't recommend you to choose any uh, records create a uh, catalog in languages other than English. So after you compare these two records, um, then you think this record is better than the other one, then just click OCLC number, then go back to the uh, mark record view. Then, uh, if you think this record is good enough to save, you can save here, save in progress record. When you save uh, in progress record, please add your name. For me, I'm going to put me here. Or, so, but this is from John, right? Uh, so, I'm going to put John here. I'm going to put John here. So, I'm going to save. And then later, you want to go, go over the records you saved in your record manager. Um, go to scope and change save in progress and change index to my status and enter your name here. See, um, John only saved, I did, but uh, on behalf of John. So John has one saved uh, record in the uh, um, in progress file. So this is how you search your saved records. Okay. If there is if there is no question, I will do the next one. You mean okay. yes? Yeah. Um could you maybe just go over for people who weren't in Cat Express or maybe forgot from Cat Express, just the concept of they if they see in VRG what they should do? Uh, if they see in BRG, don't even save the record. Because although you save the record, it will go to provisional record set and it will um, just, it will, I mean, we will, the catalogers and you will uh, spend extra, uh, extra time and effort for the record already in buckles. So if you see held by my, held by library with like a green check mark, um, don't even, you don't need to save it or you don't need to go to the mark record to um, evaluate the quality. So you can just go ahead and then do the next item. So this uh, this one, I just uh, did it for the, uh, for, to, to show you how to do that. But um, I'm gonna, when I just go back to my uh, full catalogers client in, interface, if I see the saved file, I'm gonna delete that uh, from, from, uh, from my uh, interface, my um, client. So you don't need to worry about um, if if it's already in buckles, then you don't need to save or um, you don't need to save or you, you don't need to even look at the record. 
And just to clarify, that's even if you've searched Polaris first and you didn't find it, um, NVRG indicates that it may be in Polaris within the next 24 to 48 hours. So do still be confident that you can um, skip over that one and you don't have to actually save it again. Uh, but uh, for the word language materials, it's different. For English language materials, you will see your records uh, in like one or two days. But if I have like a lot of hundreds of uh, submissions there, and um, I have to change the Chinese cataloging um, to English cataloging uh, record, then it will take more time than English ones. So, um, so please allow me at least 15 days, a maximum 15 days to um, to process your record submission. So, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Um, I did forget for one second that Yumi is not a robot. A lot of times, you know, she, she does work so fast, I think she is, but I did forget that, sorry. Okay, so I'm, I tried to process your submission uh, maximum 15 days, so please spare me, because a word language is different from the uh, English one. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to Tim's ISBN. I'm gonna copy and paste, and we'll change this one to old word cat, and change this one to ISBN. I'm gonna search. Okay, we have three search results, and two of them are cataloged in other languages, German and Hebrew. So if I were you, I'm going to click English only and uh, evaluate this one, but uh, I'm going to show you the difference of records here for uh, training. So it looks like everything are the same, only difference is the cataloging language. So I'm going to sort by the highest first. Okay. This one um, is created by Israeli library, and um, it's the Kelly language is Hebrew, and it's not full, uh, the encoding level is not full level, it's minimum level, uh, which is incomplete. And the second one is, um, it's created by Harvard library, and um, Kelly language is in English, and this is full level, so this one looks good to me. And the third one is minimum level, and this is created by some German library, and the catalog language is, is also in German. So I'm going to click this one to compare uh, with other two records. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, uh, it looks good to me now. Oh, no, not good to me because it doesn't have a library of Congress subject heading. So although uh, Harvard Library marked it as full level, but it's actually not a complete record because it doesn't have a, uh, it doesn't have subject heading. So I'm gonna compare this with other two records. Go to compare and to the same ISBN search. So we're going to go to see the one which has more uh, holding libraries. Okay. Compare. Okay. So the first thing you will see is the catalog language. Uh, so this one is cataloged in Hebrew. Oh, and to me, this one is better than this because it doesn't have the uh, translated uh, language information, which uh, this one has. So this is Hebrew translation of English. It has three number. Uh, it doesn't have it doesn't have three number, but it has something looks like a LC number. But uh, the formation is weird. Okay. So it doesn't have trans, uh, trans, Romana, transliterated uh, author's name, but this one has transliterated uh, author's name here. Um, but usually, uh, because the, the original author is English author, 
this record should have English name, not the Hebrew name. So this this is going to be the correct uh, author's name. Okay. So both of them have um, the original title here. And uh, this one doesn't provide transliteration, which is okay with us, because as long as this record has the um, Fonicula script, uh, which is on your title page, uh, then uh, this is okay without transliteration. But this one provides transliteration. And as you can see, this one provides, uh, instead of uh, pagination or illustrations uh, or centimeters, everything, every unit is in Hebrew. So this is not a record for us. And um, this one, I don't know. I, I think uh, this library uh, just drives, um, drives uh, information from this record. So that's why it has two 300 fields. Uh, it's supposed to have only one 300 field here. So maybe this library forgot to delete uh, this second uh, 300 field. So that's why uh, it has two 300 fields here. But anyway, so um, when I compare these two records, um this uh this this record has a uh, subject headings which is not uh exactly lc subject headings but at least it has subject headings uh, which as you can see nli is not a library of congress it is some national israeli uh, israeli national library or something uh i'm not sure but uh at least this one provides some kind of subject heading, but this one doesn't have any subject heading. So when I uh, compare these two records, if you save this record for me, uh, if Tim saved this record for me, I'm going to search another record, and then I'm going to combine these two records. So I'm going to enhance this record to have subject headings and uh, delete unnecessary fields from this record, and then I'm going to make this record a uh, uh, complete record. So, and uh, I'm going to import this record in, uh, into Polaris. Okay, so once you uh, com finish comparing, then you can go to the better record, and then you can do save in progress. But I'm not going to do that because I don't like this record. <laughs> okay. Yumi, would you say that it would be good in this case for Tim to um, save this record and then submit a ticket with the information about the subject headings in the other records to help you? Oh. Actually, Tim is really good at that. He <laughs> always, <laughs> whenever he requests the Hebrew records, he always provides me the scanned images of the title page and verse page. And he searched thoroughly the WordCat records and he just, gave, he just gave me, I found this record from Israeli record uh, library, and I found this record from like uh, some other places. So can you just uh, update this record using the other record information? Uh, he's really good at that. So yeah, I don't need to uh, ask him to do that, but uh, for those who didn't know the way how to do it, so Tim's doing that way, and it's very helpful for me to uh, enhance incomplete record. So whenever you found more information, but that's not good enough, then you can just let me know that I found this and this, but uh, each one is not good. But if you combine all the information, you can maybe enhance the record. Uh, then you can provide me. Um, you can provide me via ticket system or just email us. Um, Cataloging at Buckles.org. You read my mind. That was my next comment to um, use the support tickets or email cataloging at Buckles.org. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to search Maze ISDN here. Okay. So uh, also here is the two different records. One is cataloged in English, the other is cataloged in Korean. And the other information looks good. Uh, but as you can see here, they are the same author. But the first one is the way the Korean libraries uh, Romanize author's name or Korean language. And this is the way that this is the uh, Romanization. Uh, this is Library of Congress Romanization for the Korean languages. So 
I can tell this one uh, looks better, but if you don't uh, know or if you are not sure uh, which one is correct uh, romanization rule, just you can just look at uh, the other facet here. Okay, so so this one we already have it, and uh, this one has more holding libraries. And this one is uh, created by National Korean Library, and um, it's um, developed in, uh, in Korean, and it is minimum level. So if you are doing it uh, in a real situation, you don't need to look at this record, uh, but this is for training, so I'm going to compare this to record. So I'm going to click this one. And as you can see, this is catalog by me. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to click compare, search. Okay, so cataloging language is in Korean, this is in English. And both of them provide three, uh, three number. And this one doesn't have 100 field, which is author field. Um, usually some Japanese libraries and Korean libraries, they, um, they enter author's name in 700 instead of 100. That's why you will find the author's name later in 700 field. So I put the author's name in 100 field here and as you can see, the transliteration is not correct. Uh, this is the way uh, Library of Congress romanization rules. Okay, both uh, provide the original title. Uh, no, 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 the subtitle. Federal, uh, yeah, federal title here. Okay. Okay, so, um, also, I put the summary from Korean bookstores. So this one has summary in Korean. And this one doesn't have LC subject heading, but this one has uh, LC subject heading. Okay, as you can see, they put uh, author's name in 700 field instead of 100 field. So this is better record. Uh, I create this one, but I can tell this is better record than this. <laughs> Okay, but um, but we already have it in buckles. I'm not gonna save this one, but if you want to see how to search your saved file, um, maybe I can I can save it. But uh, it's already in buckles. So this is May's record. So I'm gonna put May here. So when you want to search uh, your record later. You only need to do change scope and index and put your name here. And you will see the records you saved here. Okay. Looks like Hindi and Drew. <laughs> okay, I'm going to search uh, and do ISBN. Yeah, this is the only one and it looks good to me. We don't have it now. So this record. So this record provides all vernacular script, all Hindi. Has left the meeting. Okay. <laughs> all Hindi scripts are here. So, so far so good. And it has, um, Subject heading, this is about this book. So it has LC subject heading. Um, okay, so this looks good. So I'm gonna save it. There's a no record to compare, so I'm gonna save it now. And this is Andrews, so, okay. Yeah, so this one was easy, okay. Okay, I think uh, this is it. Uh, that this is the last ISBN provided by you. So I'm gonna go back to the record manager manual. So we just uh, we just saw how you compare the records 
using compare function. And we saw how you save your records in save in progress file. Okay. Um, by the way, um, if you click edit or advanced action, and then if you do whatever, uh, whatever thing here, um, it won't work because uh, you have a limited um, authorization to search record manager. So let's see if you go to record manager and click uh, reform, uh, click maybe drive the record. Uh, it will drive, but you are not going to create a new record using this record, so um, it's a necessary action for you. Um, and if you just um, do something like, if you click advanced action, maybe let's go back. See, these are not the ones you're going to do. So. Although you, you can click this or edit or whatever, um, there's nothing you can do or so you don't need to do that. So please uh, don't click edit or advanced action, just use compare and save functions here. Okay. So for your information, after you save uh, your records in save in progress file, uh, this is the interface for the catalogers, uh, which is connection client. Only full catalogers can use it for now for us in Buckles. Um, so this is the screen I'll see. So if you uh, set up your 049 field in the user preferences correctly, then uh, this is the full letter code I will see. So if I see here Mawa, then uh, for the Hindi record, then I will see, okay, this is from Andrew. Well, if I see Hebrew um, Hebrew records and it, here is like a full letter code for the cluster, then I will see, okay, this is from Tim. So this is a way I can identify who sent uh, which record to me. So, uh, and if I, for example, if this Russian record um, doesn't have any uh, vernacular script, it only has a transliteration only, uh, not a uh, vernacular script here. It only has this transliterated uh, title and then all the information there. Then I will um, I will send you email or tickets using this code. So I'm gonna uh, send uh, Alan Dale that the record you saved in progress doesn't have original Russian script at all. So please send me the scanned images of title page, verse page, and cover. So I can uh, I can enter the original Russian script in the record. Then I'm gonna enhance this record and I'm gonna import this record. So word language record uh, takes more time than other like other Roman language records. So uh, please allow me more time. <laughs> okay. So if there is no more questions, I think this is it. Oh, by the way, on the morning session, uh, Wei from Fort Lee, he asked me if we can add a uh, summary. He usually finds summary from Chinese bookstores and he just added summary uh, in the record. So he asked me if we can do that uh, in Record Manager. Yes, you can do that. So, so if you see the green plus sign here, this button, you can, um, if you, are like a really uh, care about the order of the field, you can go to five, uh, this one already have uh, has a summary, but, but I'm just gonna show you the example. So you can click green button here, you can add 520. 520 is the tag for the summary, and you can just add, and you can save in progress. Then uh, this, uh, the stuff you just entered will just save in progress file, and I can see the summary. So I can use the summary uh, when I enhance the record, or you can just you, or if you don't sh if you are not sure which field you need to use, then you can just uh, add 590, which is local um, notes field. So then so 
helped me or something or um, um, no pagination, something, whatever information you want me to know, then you can just add this one. So, and then you can save in progress, then I will see your note here. Okay, other than that, um, I think that's it. No, okay, oh, one more. Okay. Um, Okay. Tim, is it Ocell's number or is it some standard number? Oh, okay. This is not ISBN. Okay, it's Ocell's number. First, this is uh, Kellogg in Hebrew. And this one doesn't have ISBN. Usually, a lot of um, Hebrew records, they don't have ISBN. They Sometimes they have Dena code, but like this, sometimes they don't have anything at all. So yes, you can save in progress. Um, if I need more information, uh, as you always did, uh, you can just keep uh, send me the scanned images. Uh, if I'm looking for any missing information from here, I can use your scanned images. Yeah, if this is the only record you can find, um, you can save uh, save in progress. And also, Ruth already assigned you as a designee for your library, so um, so yeah. You can do that. And later, Margaret will just uh, chime in if she wants. So we are working on the, um, what is it? The long name for the form, like cataloging justification submission assigned designee form. We are working on it. Uh, whenever we are uh, done, we're going to announce to you guys. And I think not you guys. We're going to announce it to your directors. And your directors can assign a person who will submit the catalog justification form on behalf of the directors. So we're going to work on that. And um, so this is new thing, uh, which is passed um, at the December system council meeting. So uh, we're going to do that soon. Yeah. So I don't need to chime in anymore. You said it perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Add designated appointee for cataloging submission justification. Ooh, I'm out of breath. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so if there's no more questions, um, you're welcome, team. I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Okay. So, of course, if you have any questions using Record Manager, you can always email me or other catalogers. Okay. If there is no more questions, then thank you for joining us. And Happy New Year.